Hey guys, so we're going to be doing one chapter a day, but I want you to listen to the names and the books of the Bible, what's involved. Follow, like, share, subscribe, invite others to do the same thing. Let's get to know this Lord some more. So let's do one chapter a day. We're going to be starting it later on, but for now, I just wanted to start introducing that so we can study the word and know it. Watch this video to the end. Follow, like, share, subscribe, invite others to do the same thing please let's get people going on this let's know the word let our kids know the lord let everyone in our world know the lord god bless you the bible is the word of god the bible is a compilation of books of the word of god who were inspired who were touched who the holy spirit ministered to and told them what to say who god gave words and gave them laws and and informations and instructions for us that's what at least that's all we know about the bible the bible is the word of god it's a word of instruction from the lord for us to follow him and have a map have a gps of our life have a compass of how to navigate this life that he's giving to us in honor of him to worship him to live our lives to serve him and these books have um 66 books I'm trying to tell people because I know that lots of people do not know so many things about the Bible. Somebody has told me once that they thought the Bible was just one big book. No, the Bible has 66 books. I think um, it's going to be um, 39 for... I think it's 39 for the Old Testament and 27, I think so, for the New Testament. I'm going to be reading them all out so that we know but in all the bible has 66 books so it's 39 and 27 i think 29 and 27 so the old testament are full of the laws and commandments and the things that happened before christ and it also prophesied the coming of christ and everything it also prophesies the ending of time the when the world will be over and everything that is involved so the bible is full of 66 books i have 39 for the old testament which is before christ and 27 which is during and after christ and each of those books are confirming words from each other for instance you find something in the old testament that is predicted and you find it happening in the new te testament or you find something in the new testament which has already been talked about in the old testament so you see all of them are working together and this word is meant for you to use god has put them all there for you out there for you a records of what's the people of our four times did the works and the acts of God and the things he did, the coming of Christ, how the world started and then how it's going to end eventually and what the, the fate of everybody will be eventually. And um, at the end of the day, the Bible is just there to tell us about the mind of Christ, the mind of God and how we need to live our lives here. Remember God created you and he has given you a manual just like you have a new vehicle and in the new vehicle there's a manual so you can know what the book is all about that's how god created us and gave us a manual which is the word of god the bible and then as you read through those words you get instructions from him and at the end of the day you get to know him more you get to walk with him and walk daily with him so now the old testament i say i think they are made of 39 books and i'm going to be reading them out these are the books of the bible from the old testament like i said is before christ so before christ are full of the prophets the word of god the acts of god what he did how he dealt with the people how he gave laws rules and regulations how he saved people what he did and how he created the world so all of that but i'm just going to read the names of the books of people who don't know so it's going to be genesis is the first book of the bible so i'm going to read them all out so we have genesis exodus leviticus numbers deuteronomy joshua georges ruth first samuel second samuel first king second kings first chronicles second chronicles Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalm, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Songs of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. That ends the that's 
that comes to the end of the old testament so genesis is the first book and the last of it is malachi malachi is the last book of the old testament remember what i say the old testament is before the coming of christ now so by the coming of christ that's where we have the new testament and the new testament starts with matthew mark luke john acts romans first corinthians second corinthians galatians ephesians philippians colossians first thessalonians second thessalonians first timothy second timothy titus philemon hebrews james first peter second peter first john second john third john jude and revelations now the book of matthew is the first book of the new testament and revelation is the last book of the new testament now all of these books talks about jesus that's in the new testament talks about jesus and the coming of the end of times how the world is going to end that's in revelation if you want to know about that matthew mark luke and john is about the apostles the disciples jesus had 12 disciples and those 12 disciples are the ones some of them that wrote these books and we still have several one of them who wrote it so matthew mark luke and john talks about strictly about jesus his acts how he was born his acts and how he was finally taken out of the world in crucifixion and then we now have the other the acts of apostles that document the activities of after he has come after he left the world and what the apostles did great works that they did there and then we have romans all of these things are the instructions that god gave to us that you study and you can build your faith with you really sit down read and build your faith gives you instructions on how to go things that are fair you have thessalonians you have galatians ephesians all of these are books of the bible that you can study and build your faith and walk with him trying to know jesus more and the old testament also tells you about the prophecies of the coming of times of jesus and so many things for you to know the lord very well and how to walk with him so i want to urge you for everyone who wants to know the lord who wants to walk with the lord you can take this book study them and make them yours every word of god is a prophecy for you don't say oh no i wasn't there when they wrote the bible lots of people say those things you know you were not there but the bible says this book of the law this book shall not depart of the mind it did not cut out any part every part that you see that is important to you take it and make it yours take it and read it for yourself and claim it that this is what god is in. because the bible says the word of god is a prophecy and these prophecies are meant for us they are meant to rebuild us to rebuke us to be a blessing to us to open our eyes to give us a closer walk with the lord so every part of the bible is very important take it read it own it make it yours if you want to know the lord better take every book of the bible go to the new testament just read through it and see the love of god it shows about the love the mercy the forgiveness the saving power of the lord the old testament tells you how the world began and how god gave laws rules and regulations before christ and remember when the law was in effect before jesus it was a hard time do you know why because god there was nothing like jesus god god will give you a word that's how the old testament was that god gives words and instructions and if you did not follow it the the judgment that comes on you was instant god was very instantaneous but with the coming of christ the mercy of god stood in between the bible talks about when the veil of the temple was broken signifying that the law god is not going to deal with us based on the law anymore he will deal with us based on the mercy and the grace that jesus has given us and all of us can key into that grace but then another thing do not take the grace and the mercy of god for granted because the bible says in galatians that shall we continue to live in sin that the grace of god will abide so do not say because grace is here it's a time of mercy so i'm just going to leave as i want no you don't have to do that you will still walk in the mercy of god but god whatever you do you can now go to god tell you something in the old testament when you committed the sin you have to make some kind of sacrifice you have to wait you are unclean sometimes you are thrown outside the camp there are things you can not do so many laws that were in place and they were enforced because god had that had asked the people to enforce them the priests were there to tell them what god says and there were people he has appointed prophets and all of that who did so many activities for the lord and the angels of god were there to strike most times when people do something okay 
But after Jesus came, his mercy spoke more than his judgment. And as you study this word, make every word your own. Abide by this word. Both the ones you find in the Old Testament and the word of Jesus. So you can combine God's instructions with the mercy of God, which is the time of Jesus. And merge them together and see yourself building and growing in the glory of God. I want to pray with you. If you want to know the Lord more, you want to walk with him because he's calling everyone. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and forgive me my sins. Make me a changed person. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me in Jesus' name. Amen. If you say that prayer, my dear, you are totally accepted. God has commanded that you are accepted. And I pray that you will walk with him. I pray that you will study this world. I've read out all the books of the Bible out. Take your time. Study it. We're going to start doing one chapter a day. Every day we're going to be reading one chapter from the New Testament and then from the Old Testament just to know the Lord, just to know everything that is in the Word of God. And we'll talk about them. We'll read the Bible. We'll read one chapter and discuss it and just have time to share his word so follow me on this journey let's go this is the beginning of great things one chapter a day one chapter a day and we discuss it i don't know how long that will take because because if i want to read i read for a long time but we can do one chapter a day just to break down the bible you can see it's not as hard as people say join me on this journey god bless you if you have not subscribed please subscribe let a lot of people follow us on this journey let's go on this journey studying the word of god one chapter a day God bless you.